Just a little bit of cilantro on the top. And there we go. Wonderful, I love that. Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the main today, and as you can see here, we're making a beautiful Arabic beef and rice. We've got really, really highly seasoned rice here with some really tender, beautiful beef. Let's go and do it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the beef we're gonna be using today. This is a beef chuck, nice bit of fat in it, which is kind of pretty essential for this. Nice kind of stewing steak here we've got, nice bit of beef. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that up into nice pieces, nice cubes, and then we're gonna season it heavily to make this uh, kabsa or mashbush. And there you go, beautiful. Like I say, nice bit of fat running through that, which we want. Any pieces of fat on the edge are excellent for this. Let's get some spices together. So these are the powdered spices that we're gonna be using today for our meat. Let's just take a look at those. So here I've got black lemon or black lime, which you might find hard to get, but that's what it is, black lime. Pretty essential for this. You can get it whole as well. In fact, when we make the rice, we're gonna put a whole one in as well. So black lime, garam masala, green cardamom powder, nutmeg, turmeric, chili, cumin, and coriander. They're all about a teaspoon each. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get those onto our meat with a touch of oil and some salt and pepper. Let's do that. So in a mixing bowl, we're gonna add the spices. So the black lemon or lime, green cardamom powder, nutmeg, garam masala, cumin and coriander, chili and turmeric. So in they go, along with salt, ground black pepper, And then here, I've got some olive oil. I'm just gonna sort of bring it all together, help it kind of bind. Simply, we're gonna give that a mix, and then we can move on to the next stage. And there we go, a beautifully, heavily spiced bowl of our beef. Let's get over to the cooker. Okay, so we've got a large saucepan here. I've got just a touch of oil in there, olive oil again. We're gonna drop in our meat. And not on a simmer, but above a simmer, so a nice low heat. We're gonna cook this meat for about eight minutes. We want it really super tender, so it's gonna take a little while. So eight minutes on this kind of fairly low heat. We'll just get it started. Give it a stir every now and then. So this is coming on really nicely. Now the reason that you do it nice and slow, low and slow, is you'll burn the spices if the heat's too high, which we don't want to do, and they become very bitter and not very nice. So this meat, still a long way to go. But it's at this point we're now gonna introduce some onions. There's like a couple of Small onions there, medium type onions. And here I've got garlic. There's like a tablespoon there of garlic. It's quite a lot of garlic. But in that goes roughly chopped as well. And continuing on this heat, let's go for another five minutes, low and slow. It's gonna be really worth it. Believe me. See you in a bit. Wonderful. Simply we're gonna add in some tomatoes. Now I've got like three medium sized tomatoes. You don't have to chop them small, you can cut them out if you like because they're really gonna break down. We're then gonna get the heat up to maximum. We're gonna be adding some water. Just like five cups of water there maybe, you know, or enough just to cover the meat, maximum heat now. We're gonna bring that to a boil, then we're gonna get it on a rolling boil for about 10 minutes. Like I say, we need this beef to be super soft. Give it a stir. 
every now and then. And while our beef is cooking away there, I just want to show you some other spices that we're going to be adding in a moment. So some bay leaf, cloves, cinnamon and green cardamom. And here's the black lime, the whole black lime. With that, if you get a, if you get a fork and just prod it, you'll let all the flavours out of it. And here I've got some uh, tomato paste. That's like 135 grams there. So a few more minutes on the beef and then that's going to go in along with some more water. We also now need to get our rice done. So what we need to do is get our rice, wash it and soak it for about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, this is looking wonderful. That meat's getting nice and tender now. Now we're going to add the spices that I just showed you. So in go our black lemon or black lime and then cardamom, cinnamon and cloves and a few bay leaves. We're really pumping a lot of flavour into this now. Now we're going to add in the tomato paste. And staying on this heat, it's going to let that go again for about another five to ten minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, so here I've got about four cups of basmati rice. Try and use a nice quality one. Washed it a couple of times, soaking away just for about you know five or ten minutes. Then it's going to go into the pot. This is looking wonderful. I've just taken a little piece of the beef out. It's nice and tender. We're now going to add some more water to this. That looks great, doesn't it? Just bring that to the boil and then we're going to add the rice. Now certainly do not add your rice until you're convinced that your beef is nice and soft. That's the trick basically. We've got enough water in there now to cook our rice in. Back in about just four or five minutes. And there we go, got a nice temperature there on that water. Now, the rice, nice quality basmati that's been soaking, washed a few times, in that goes. We're gonna add a little bit more salt into the mix. We're gonna give this a stir. We're going to pop a lid on this and I'm going to cook this for about eight or nine minutes. What should happen is that rice will really swell up and give us a beautiful, beautiful finished product. Okay, let's take a look. This should be nice and sticky. There we go, that looks fantastic. You can see that that rice has really absorbed all of that water. But some people would like it a bit drier than this. I like it just like this, it's absolutely wonderful. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you soon. Lots of love.